here after dark at night. Oh, do you light the candle? Do you light that up? Last weekend, I decided it was time to begin to put out the pieces that I had, my major pieces, my foundation pieces, to begin to fill the beach with the sculptures. And as I was walking the dog, I thought to myself, I haven't seen the marathon, man. I, I know I put him back by the polygonum way back there. Mm -hmm. And I came back, and he was gone. And I said, holy mackerel, somebody must have taken him. And then I began to realize there were other pieces missing. And there's probably a half a dozen that are gone. They were big pieces. They were my foundation pieces, mm -hmm. um, my most important pieces. I've created a poster that I'm putting around town with the four of them, the Marathon Man, Babe Ruth, um, a beautiful piece of wood, and the ballet dancer. And I'm offering a $500 reward. Um, they are worth that much to me. I was thinking, it's like having a Rembrandt exhibition and not having Night Watchmen or something. <laughs> um, a Night Watch. Right okay. over in this area. Uh -huh. I had the boxer in here. I had the Marathon Man standing back there. Mm -hmm. uh, the ballet dance was right about here. And a beautiful piece of wood was over where the boat is. Mm. And they didn't take Venus, who's on the log. Yeah, Venus was one of my first big finds, and she probably weighs 150. Okay. Well, you know, this one was thrown over there. I laid it down over there. Uh-huh. She was separate. Hmm. I love her necklace. Huh? <laughs> I love her necklace. I know, right. I think Venus has a necklace. Thing. And so you, you pick these things up with a wheelbarrow yourself when you find them? No, no, no. I, uh, we go out in the boat. And we uh, walk the beaches, especially up towards the back of the beaches, and I find pieces. And then I roll them to the water. Then I tie them off with a rope. And then I float them back to the house with, uh, on the back of the boat. The theory is, I have two theories. One, it was just an act of uh, malicious vandalism. It was someone who disapproved of what I, what I was doing. And the second theory is that it was actually someone who had an eye for driftwood and wanted it for their own, mm. either to display on their own property or to sell. And they had to go through um, a great deal to get it because uh, one of the pieces was probably 200 to 220 pounds. Last summer, as a joke, it's what I consider to be a joke, we had a guest book out there but with the guest book, I also had photos of uh, these pieces and other pieces, and uh, I put prices next to them. So, for example, the boxer was $3,500, we'll negotiate. And so everything had a very high price attached to it. And my wife reminded me of that recently, and she said someone may have come down and taken that quite seriously, like maybe some young kids or somebody. Oh, and so like they could put it on eBay or something. Exactly, and I have <laughs> checked eBay, and I have, have checked, you? and I have just checked. Do do people sell driftwood on eBay? Yes. Wow. They Does sell it go large. for that it's Mostly much? small, but I, I looked out large driftwood pieces, but they weren't there. They hmm. weren't there.